Welcome to Expedition Sea Nest. Join us this week as we explore Georgian Bay, from Little Current to Bay Finn, where we climb the most incredible peak. Michael captured some great drone footage, so stay tuned for that. to Little Current, Ontario. It looks to me that there's only one lane on this bridge. So all the cars are stopping on the one end, all the other cars are crossing, and then they switch going over. Can you imagine living on an island that has only one lane? Used to be a railroad track, was converted into a swing bridge. So if there's any problem with the bridge, you're kind of in trouble getting off the island. We landed at the town dock and quickly realized that this little town was very welcoming to transient boaters. The main grocery store can be found five to ten minutes from the dock. We found a set of stairs right beside the dock and followed those up. Just a couple blocks away was the main grocery store. It was perfect for topping up provisions. There's also a laundromat, several restaurants, and they're all within walking distance from the dock. Candace. Candace! Candace Kirby? You don't remember me. Oh, maybe you're not the girl that I thought looked like Candace Bergman. But the real treasure of Little Current is the legend Roy Eaton, who keeps Manitoulin boaters connected and safe with his daily VHF broadcast and Zoom channel. It's called Cruiser's Net, and it's on Channel 71 on VHF. Daily at 9 a.m., Eaton broadcasts weather, news, and he gets emergency messages to boaters in remote places. While we were in Little Current, we met up with some cruising friends. They have a ranger tug just like ours. They're very special people. After catching up for a few days, we agreed to reconnect later that week in Bayfin. So we switched anchorages because there's some possibly not great weather coming tonight. We've come into a bay with quite a few other boats anchored up for the same idea as us. And luckily enough for us, we've realized that there's actually a little hiking trail. I guess it's also part of the Killarney um, chain of hikes, about an hour long, we were told. So there's a little dock up here and we are going to go for uh, we're, a little hike. We're protected. We were in our last spot, we were protected from a west wind, but we weren't protected from a uh, from an east wind or even a north wind, really. So, and we're supposed to, it's going to supposed to clock around tonight uh, to, I'm just checking the bottom here, just uh, swing from the west all the way to the east through the night, and it's supposed to be blowing like 15 knots. So that's not a good spot where we were. So we pulled, up, pulled into a place that's, and there's, we managed to find a spot in there, but it was a lot. How many boats did you count? 14 boats in a tiny bay, but everyone was uh, stern tied. So it's amazing how you can get that many boats in there and it's still good if everyone's stern tied. So we're really, that, that spot there, we're protected in all, uh, all wind directions, which is really great. So we'll sleep well tonight. Oh, look how muddy it is here. Here. Mm -hmm. Get some traction. What a beautiful hike. I'm so glad we came. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not from the Anchorage and all the people, but I am from the standpoint of a new trail. How wonderful is that? We get some exercise. We'll sleep better. Rawr, 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 says Michael. Don't want to go for a hike. Rawr, rawr, rawr. This is beautiful. So 
a beautiful trail actually. It's very rocky, but it's it's a lot a lot of elevation here. It's cool, huh? Yeah, you feel like you're in the rainforest here. Yeah. Oh, this is all uphill. Like very uphill. <laughs> this is great. And we're still not bushes. No blue. Oh, one blueberry. One blueberry. That's your snack to no. get you to the top. Oh wow, that is that is steep. Yeah, I, I wasn't prepared for this. I no, I it. don't know if I would br brought my Tevas. I would have brought my hiking boots if I knew it was going to be like this. Like that's that's. That is climbing, serious climbing up here. Holy That's cow. Really good um, I'm feeling like we're at the peak. I'm sweating from my chin. That's how hot this is. It's so humid. Oh my god. We're up we're up as high as the other peak. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't you dare! That is not funny. <laughs> That is not funny <laughs> at all. You're not even close to the I top. I know, but you know how I feel about that. Wow. Holy cow. Oh my god. That is amazing. Oh, you're way too close to the oh edge. Oh my gosh, Jill. I can't stand that close to the edge. That freaks me well, out. Well, here, stand back here then. Oh, Jesus. Here, take the GoPro. That is, mag that is absolutely magnificent. It's too bad it's so mist. So steamy. Wow. Look at that. I'm glad I brought the GoPro. Holy cow. Well, that was worth that enormous hike. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bad with heights. I have to sit down to look along. It's stunning and beautiful, but I'm just uncomfortable standing up. It gives me uh, shivers on the back of my legs. It's unfortunate that the um, that there's so much uh, humidity in the air, or else you'd be able to see so far. It's absolutely stunning. Right. Oh. So here's the thing. You have these. People who are super planners, which we are not really, we're sort of spontaneous. We switched anchorages and we had no idea that there was a hiking trail here. And someone someone told us it was a bit steep, but we were not prepared for this. This is literally, it feels like the highest peak in the in the chain of hills of the Killarney, um, uh, the Killarney Mountains, I guess they're called. Um, do you know what they're called? No, I don't know. So here we have this little gift that we were climbing and climbing and climbing, thinking, yeah, we're getting pretty high. And we were, what a gift, what a surprise to come upon something like this. You feel like it's even extra special because we didn't know what was coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if someone had said, oh yeah, it's a great view, we would have done it. But this was like, oh, we didn't really know what was happening. And this was at the end of it, of all the sweat. Now there's the walking down, that's gonna be the challenge, but we'll go for a swim when we get back to the boat and, uh, yeah, what a spectacular day. This is the highlight of the trip so far. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I just wish it wasn't so hazy. Yeah. Well, we'll come back maybe far, next we, year. I bet you we could see little current from here if, if it wasn't so hazy. This is huge. Like, look at, give me I, the camera. Uh, Let me show them down, just even down below. This is really beautiful. I mean, look at the, look at the amount of quartz that is down here. Uh, it's just amazing. We enjoyed the hike so much that we went again several days later with our friends when the visibility was much better. I found this on Wikipedia. According to legend, the hills were warning bells or toxins used by local First Nations for signaling. These quote-unquote bell rocks could be heard for considerable distance when struck, and accordingly when the voyageurs explored the area, they named it with the French word for bell which is La Cloche.
She weighs 13 pounds. So that's the, um, what do you call that? The that's that's the, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a white fish is what this one is. It's, it's a white fish. It's a black, it's a white, black fish. white fish, yes. Okay, so now tell, tell everybody what you're actually doing. Uh, is we are downrigging this uh, one. Yeah, um, we got, we are. We got the expert downrigger. Yeah, we got the How expert. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, so we are, we're planning on, uh, on, on, Catching this some lake trout, or lake salmon, trout or whatever, salmon, whatever, whatever, whatever wants to bite. Yeah, we're gonna go down. We're in about 100 feet of water. We're gonna go down, probably for fish in there, 80 feet of water or something right. like that. Yeah, Peter, straight down under the boat. Peter knows the stuff, so we're just here to enjoy this, <laughs> and uh, I'll try to be helpful and not a hindrance. He's had more experience out on Lake Ontario, hasn't he? Oh yeah. Oh, salmon fishing in Lake Ontario is pretty special. It rarely gets gunked. Yeah. Fish on! Fish on! Want it up? Well, we we're good it. for now. Don't leave it to the last possible minute and then we'll all panic. Right. Whoa! Oh, we lost the clip. That's Fuck. Right. Sorry. It came up so fast. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry about that. That's all good. I lose them all the time. Do you really? Oh, yeah. I got a lot. Fuck, that came up so fast. I'm looking down there. Oh, no, it is high speed. So let's. The, we got to get in the center thing if we want to get the net. And we probably just just keep going in the, the direction you're going there, dear. Yeah. The, the, uh, there's, the net should be at the back on top. Yeah, I got it. I'll try not to lose this, okay? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> what do you think it is? It'll be a lake trout. This was deep. This was 120 feet down. Yeah. Wow. Not a big one, but there's a fish there. Well, that's cool. So we did get something. Well, we haven't, well, we haven't so seen it. Oh, there it is. Let's not you see him? Count no. our chickens till they. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh. The Laker. Yeah. Ooh, it's not bad. It's good size. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. it's, yeah you're right. It's not a monster. Not, yeah, but a nice, tasty size. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna have to show us how to cook it. Oh, yeah. there you go. Uh -huh. Ceviche. Oh, yeah, I, like I it. have a red pepper. Mm -hmm. And an onion. Probably get my uh, pliers. <laughs> yeah, where are they? Pliers, Peter? Is that what you want me to get? Yeah, right, in the top, right in the top of that should be a set of pliers. Do you say? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Nice, man. There you go. Hold that up. Oh, Hi. yeah. Hold nice that in front of you, Peter. Should we get a picture? There you go. Nice. All right, nice. there you go. <laughs> Dinner tonight. Dinner tonight. Lake trout. I'll, I'll just spread. So I'm just going to tell you about it. So Peter, so what's this? What is this rig called? Is there a name for I it? I think it's called a well. It's called a meat rig actually because you put a hunk of herring on it, and it's a it's a flasher with uh, some flies, and then a herring strip. So and that and you and you put like a toothpick through the uh, thing here to hold the herring on the on the head. There so, you go. So now tell me now is this is this for lake trout or is it for well salmon? I catch lake trout and salmon on it but oh, uh, I, I've I've had good luck for lake trout on this thing oh. and that's it and that's a smelly piece of herring that's a smelly piece of herring so that must really bring them in too. oh yeah. yeah they like they love that isn't that cool so this whole thing is this just spinning this slowly uh, okay. slowly oh is it doing like that the, well okay. no it actually rolls slow, does it roll slow yeah roll. yeah okay. And uh, how far apart are each of these spaced? Oh, I don't know. They look like. Uh, well, you buy it like this, don't yeah, you? Yeah, no, it's the way. So it comes. this is a full rig, just the way it is. You buy it just like the whole it. thing. You buy it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet That's deal. Yeah. So yeah, look at the way it's got. At a Bill's bait shop in Hamilton. 
Shout out. Good take. He's the man. Uh, we're rolling, and I can take any of this in or out. So. There you go. A lot of stuff oh, on this. Okay, so we have here. here. Yeah. Do you want to describe how this was <coughs> deliciously? You saw it being caught today, and would you like to describe how it was cooked? It well, was. it was barbecued, but I don't know. All the fun stuff was put on by her. So. <laughs> the fun stuff. Filleted, <laughs> little bit of chili oil, butter, tagine, salt, and pepper. Oh. Yeah. Those sound like things you don't even know what they are. <laughs> no, I just know that I lick, to learn. I, I, I lick my good. fingers and I know what's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we have the pike that the boys caught this morning, early morning fishing, nice. late afternoon fishing. And this was just done in a batter and fried pike. And you've got some so portobello some mushrooms, green salad, and boiled potatoes. And we are eating Look like at us go. kings, kings and queens. Bon appétit, everyone. Uh, we're heading to Killarney and we're going to get uh, we're going to fuel up and then uh, and then I think we're going to head down to the Bad River. I haven't decided what route we're going to take yet. I think if it's not too rough, we're going to stay on the we're going to go on the outside, go around the what are they called the chickens? They called the chickens. We're going to go around them. So we're going to go on the far outside if it's fairly, uh, if it's not rough, and if it's rough, we'll just go back through um, uh, Collins Inlet and uh, kind of take the scenic route. So that's the plan. Hey. So we left the Anchorage this morning, relatively early, saying goodbye to some nice friends that we met last year, actually, on a dock at a small town. And we were able to connect with them again this year. And we spent a couple days with them, fishing and swimming and just hanging out. And uh, the wonderful thing about the boating community is you sort of crisscross and bump into each other and spend time together. And then, um, and then you don't see each other again for a long time. So great friends, helpful, friendly, generous. We're going south and they're going north. And we hope to see them again soon, possibly next year. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. And leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. And let us know if there's anything that you would like us to cover in an upcoming video. Have a wonderful day.